Salty Doge is going to start off with his patented side B. Side B? That's his usual combo starter. And there he goes. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Hard reads. Yep. Yeah. He loves that move. But TSS hopefully catches on to that habit and exploits it. But nice damage right now. That up air actually does a pretty good amount. Something I like about TSS, you know, we have a couple of Utah ops, but TSS specifically is really comfortable with the uh, gyro move. Yeah, he's definitely labbed his gyro play a lot. Yeah. Back when he used to hard name this character. But right now, Salty Doge has the upper hand, just, just keeping him in disadvantage. Yeah. TSS trying to find a way to land on stage, and just kind of set up. Now the question is, how does Salty finish off the big robot? Um, Ooh. that's where he's gonna have some trouble. I almost, I have expected on that can to be a down air read, but he just went for the back air. Yeah. Okay. And now, CSS's turn to rack some damage up. Let's see if he... That's... Okay, missed. it works out. It's the best move in the game. Oh, he might be dead here. No. Nope. Okay, he survives. Also, fun fact, Salty actually thinks Rob's side B is not bad. Really? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> more you be, know. It could be decent at the ledge. No, it's if, awful. If you read like a roll <laughs> or something, because it lasts so long, but that's about it. Because I know it can kill. And, but you can SDI out of it. Yeah, so it only works on bad people, I guess. <laughs> Get called out. Alright. Right now, even though Salty Doge had a big lead, it's even now because, like I said, this dog is not killed very easily. Falling Nair, that was an interesting choice. I don't think that was actually safe, but TSS was not expect yeah. that. And I mean, Nair would have, with that, with some bad DI, it might have actually killed. But I, I see most Duckins trying to land with like an auto-cancel dare, because, yeah. you know... It's very tricky. It combo starts and it uh, is safe. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. The Good hard read right. there. Good job on the SS. Yeah. But right now, Rob at ledge. This is uh, it's that, gonna be tricky to maneuver around. That's actually such a scary spot to be against Rob when you have to tech and he's like pinched between you and the. Uh, or like your pinch between him and the ledge. Yeah. Because Rob is such a big body that most characters can't actually tech roll in through him. Yeah. So. He's a fat boy. Yeah. But Salty Doge got the, the read there. He's just a little slow on the trigger there. Gets the triple detail, but uh, Duck Hunt having that great frame on the uh, camp. Yeah. Right now, he <laughs> tries Ooh. to fake him out with his movement. Hopefully get a gyro. Up there? Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna take it. Dog 128, tech. he ends up dying. I guess that's technically early. Duck yeah. He can kill even earlier if he has rage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's going flat. Yeah. This is this is kinda what I expected it to start with, to be honest. Yeah, and Salty didn't ban Battlefield, I'm surprised. I wonder what he did. Maybe he town? Maybe, yeah. Cloud is pretty infamous for his triplats. Yeah. Now that said, I personally think TSS's Rob is a little stronger than his Cloud. Yeah, it, it definitely is. But, uh, you know, this matchup is probably so much better that yeah. it might just kind of even It'll itself even out. out. Yeah. And already working out yeah. quite nicely. Like, those uppers weren't the crispest, you know? Yeah. I think he could have gotten a little more damage off there. Yeah. Right now, Salty Doge getting his damage. Yeah. He gets about the same amount of hits, but unfortunately, Cloud's damage output is just that much stronger it than is. Duck Hunt's. The fact that he has so many true combos off of some straight aerials is pretty insane. He can back up at least like 20% per exchange if he wanted to. Yeah, for sure. 
Alright, TSS trying to land against Duck Hunt. Seems to get through all of it. Uh, back of the can. I think he ended up clinking with like the gunshot, so it just delayed the hitbox. Okay. So, seems to be having a tough time maneuvering around the can right now. Yeah. But now that it's all the way over there. Oh, he's dead. No. Right? No. He's alive. Okay. I thought Salty had the can out for some reason. Well, the can was way over there, mm -hmm. on to the left side. Yeah. My bad. Ah, uh, gets a reversal with that. Yeah. Okay, goes right through it, actually. Honestly, he actually... What I'm kind of starting to see... Uh, TSS has been playing a lot of rivals recently. Uh -huh. And I'm starting to see, actually, a couple of habits. Specifically, his lack of shield and power shield. Oh, yeah. And I think Salty is able to take full advantage of that. Yeah. Especially with the can. He's getting a lot of mileage from it. Barely Almost. Oh, is that is gonna he kill? dead? Yep. He went flying pretty fast. That's a scary move against Duck Hunt, because Kang can just intercept it. But, <laughs> you know, opting to just throw it out is as Salty approaches. Okay. Is that gonna take it? No. Well, we're on Battlefield, it's Duck Hunt. The back is gonna do it, yep. yep. So right now, Salty Doge is gonna be content. Just, just so you know, he's not. He's, All right. He's going in on this cloud right now. Four up airs can solve 36 percent. That was nice, actually trapping him with the gun trust in the can. Yeah, and the explosion from the can actually hit him out even further. Yeah. And see, th that's what I'm talking about. As soon as TSS signs a hit, he kind of goes to press advantage, which is what you do in Rivals. But against, like, Duck Hunt and this can, you can't be doing that. Yeah. You have to be respecting it an inch. Okay, then there just comes out the gunman. Now that he doesn't have cannon play, he might be able to do some solid damage here. Yeah, for sure. But it's out once again. Okay. Okay. That's oh, it. He gets oh, unless the can? Okay, uh, he's okay. And now Salty Doge looking a little sad about that one. Yeah. That was. Salty. Actually, I think that was pretty close the whole way through. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone had a substantial advantage. No. I said, I think Salty had to do a lot more damage because he died at 85 and TSS didn't die to like 190 his first stock. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Salty definitely has to win more neutral exchanges to be able to finish off the stock. That hit? Oh, no. It's not gonna do it. Still gets 41%. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. The cross slash already making it halfway up. Yeah. He was a little earlier on the can right there. He would have definitely hit Cloud into a bad position. For sure, for sure. Trying to contest that down air. Duck Hunt's up air. It actually is pretty big, but. Oh! Wow! Nice. Run up smash. Actually slides under it. It actually worked too, he didn't fall out. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't have a... Oh, he does. Uh, TSS failed the... I'm guessing he was going for a trump. Yeah, oh. if only because of the... Uh, Foxtrot at the ledge. Yeah. <laughs> that was a really weird can. Yeah. I've seen Raido do that sort of stuff a lot. Yeah. It, it, it's pretty effective at getting a panic option from your opponent. Okay. Luckily for Doge, he actually lives that. Oh, really that. good tech. Oh, okay. This but he's back in disadvantage. Okay. Okay. No nair from TSS. He did buffer the roll, so. Yeah. Like a solid 35. Yep. Let's hope Salty Doge. If he can keep this stock, he'll be yeah. in a really good position. The problem is at this point, just one straight dash attack, or yeah. that won't do it. 
Or Nair, maybe. Okay, the can's in place. So okay. Now TSS has limit, though. I don't think Salty has to worry about offstage as... Okay. Yeah, because he's not going to burn it. Yeah. Or at least, most likely not. <laughs> yeah. Good roar back here. Oh, Ken's going the wrong way, unfortunately. I think Salty lost track of that. Yeah. That, that should have been a punish. Yeah, that move's actually pretty laggy. It has over a second event lag. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Got it. That's a big hitbox. <laughs> yeah. Really good stuff. That matchup is supposed to be horrific.